Hello, this is Reza from Radakad and today I'm going to talk about how to build a Cartesian product of two tables when the two tables has no ways to links and you want the um, multi multiply of all sets, let's say all products by all warehouses to be listed as a table. Uh, it's not a merge scenario, it's a Cartesian product. How you can do that? Let's see how it works. Um, let's first talk about what is Cartesian product. Um, in this example, I have a product table and I have a warehouse table. Uh, sometimes you have a table that connects these two together that has like the product ID and the warehouse ID and let's say this many products we have in this warehouse. Sometimes you don't have that link table and um, the, the scenario of uh, merging these are different because if you have the link table then you merge these three tables together and I've uh, done a video previously about how to use merging Power Query. But in this scenario there is no table to link. This is the idea of product, this is the idea of warehouse, they are not talking with each other. Let's say what you want as an output is a table that has uh, each product and each warehouse, uh, all pairs. Uh, so if my product table is just these three, uh, these three rows, let's say three products, and if my warehouse table is these three rows, which is three warehouses, then result set should be for each warehouse, I should have all products and it should be like nine rows. This is what we call Cartesian product. You can do this in Power Query using this approach in the home tab, transform data. I'll get to Power Query editor window. Uh, I normally create a reference from the original tables because I don't want the original tables to be affected, but this is your choice. You can just change the existing table and it doesn't matter which table you start with. Let's say I reference a table from this. Uh, reference is different from duplicate. If you want to see how different it is, go and check out my other video about that. Now this is all warehouses uh, in this table. I go to add column and I add a custom column under add column custom column and this is a way you can write an expression based column created uh, this column expression is important the expression of this column should be the name of your other table in this case this is the warehouse table my other table is product table and power query is case sensitive so product with capital p because it is named like that uh, the intelligence is helpful you can just select it from here you can call also the column name the same, but that is not the important part. The important part is the expression, right? When you click on OK, the second table comes as a table in each cell. So we have a table of all of those three rows here. Now, when I click on expand, this little button here, expand, uh, you can keep the original column names because then it will be called product ID product name. Just say OK, and here it is. Now I have each warehouse, the first three rows are warehouse number one, but for each product, then warehouse number two for each product, warehouse number three for each product separately. This is nine rows uh, multi multiplied of all of those rows. Um, you can also select them all at the end and say mm, detect data type. So detect the data type, you can call this table something like product warehouse if you don't like those if you don't want those tables anymore you can disable the load of those tables um, like this and uh, this would be the table that you use now before uh, you close this video i'll explain one more thing as well this should not be replaced uh, this should not be a replacement of merge or join because those are totally different scenarios merge and join you use it when you have two tables when you want to match those tables, when there is a matching key, student and courses, and there is a table, let's say a student and course, enrollment, there's a matching keys, you merge and merge them together. In this scenario, this is not merged. You don't have any way to connect these two, but you want the result, you want a table like this. Uh, very useful for mapping scenarios, uh, mapping table 
scenarios. Uh, also, be careful that this table can get really big very quick because this is a uh, number of rows in this table is multiplied of the rows of the other two tables. If each of those is 1000 rows, this will become 1 million rows. If each of those is 1 million rows, you can see how big this table is going to get, right? However, this Cartesian product is sometimes needed, and if it is needed, this is a way you can create it, create it really simple in Power Query. If you like this video, go ahead and subscribe into our YouTube channel. We have weekly videos of Power BI and AI.